So the first question, sorry, if I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking at my phone. Um, so the first question is, what got you into reptiles? And what was your first reptile? So um, these are two questions, but I'll just put them together because they go hand in hand. So the first reptile I got was Slim. And he's, oh, you can't even see him. But he's in that cage, this one down below. Um, he was my first leopard gecko. I... My best friend in carpooling, he had a leopard gecko, and one day he's like, oh, you guys have to come over and see my leopard gecko, and I was like, oh, cool, I've never seen one of those, like, why not, sure. So, I went to his house, I saw him feed the gecko, and I was like, oh, wow, like, what, like, this is the coolest thing ever. I've never really seen reptiles besides the pet store, and even then I wasn't like, let's go see the reptiles every single visit. I always wanted to see the bunnies and the cats and, like, the puppies for sale and hamsters and fish, so, um... I guess that was like my first reptile experience and it was just like I think one of the coolest. So after doing research, obviously getting permission from my mom because obviously like leopard geckos like they live for a long time. Um, I got Slim. At the time I called him Slimmy but I called him Slim now because like more grown up and sophisticated I guess. Um, but yeah, he's my first leopard gecko and kind of started it all for me. Well, it's kind of a lie. I, I started off with him. And then I didn't get my other crested gecko, which is my second gecko ever, um, I think since last year, but yeah. So, what was the other one? Yeah, who started it for you and what was your first, first gecko? So yeah, he started it all for me, he was my first reptile, I still have him, and I love him dearly. Um, the next question was, how many pets do you have? I currently have 15 pets, I have my two dogs, I have four cats now from the newest edition. I have two leopard geckos, I have two crested geckos, I have a hedgehog, I have a robo hamster, I have my Syrian hamster, and I have my axolotl, and I have my betta fish. So that makes 15. I always have to check and count my fingers because I don't want to leave anyone out. Um, so yeah, that's a 15. I said 14, but then my newest edition, Luna, made 15. Um, what's the next question? What was your first pet? So, when I was younger, my mom used to have birds, obviously not my pet, like little finches and zebra finches, whatever, so those are her birds, but I think we always grew up around pets. We used to foster kittens because back in the day, my mom wasn't sure if we wanted to get a cat or a dog growing up, so we fostered a lot of kittens, and we got to, like, bottle feed them, and it was just a really great experience for me. Um, I got my dog, I've had bunnies, I've had rabbits, well, bunnies and rabbits are the same thing, oops. I've had birds, um, fish, little tiny, um, what are those things called? Like little frogs, they're like African dwarf frogs. Um, but yeah, so I think I've always been an animal lover, so those are my first pets. Um, okay, let me see what the next question is. How old am I? Don't ask a lady her age. No, it's okay, I'll, ask, I'll let you guys know. I think I maybe look young for my age, I don't know. Don't have any wrinkles yet. Um, I'm 28 and I'll be 29 in April. <laughs> so yeah, once I hit 25, it's kind of like over like same age, but whatever. Um, what do you do for work? So I'm actually a preschool teacher. So I have 20 children in my class and they're between the ages of almost three um, and three years old. One of, our, one of ours just turned four. So that's what I do. Um, for work and I love it um yeah I always have like funny stories about my kids so yeah next question where is sorry that one's repeated who's your favorite pet uh that's really hard to answer because like they're also special I have special bonds with them like everyone has a special place in my heart so all my pets are my favorite that's the answer to that um what's your favorite color I love purple purple is my favorite it's always been my favorite it always will be my favorite and black because I love black it's just so like dark next question what are your dream pets um do you know what right now i'm really content with what i have i don't really have any dream pets um i know an axolotl was my like was one of my i know an axolotl was one of my dream pets for a while because i saw one at an expo and i saw them online and um i did some research and i really loved them and i finally got one but any dream pets right now I don't have any at the moment I really think bunnies are cute but right now I don't have the space for them or the time but maybe one day who knows um what else is next what made you want to start YouTube so basically I don't know I start, I guess I started YouTube relatively late I wish I started a bit earlier when I started getting all my pets and just bringing them home and different experiences and just enclosures I've had with them and um what was the question again 
Oh yeah, what started YouTube channel? Okay, so yeah. Um, just being a pet owner of many pets, I found that like lots of people that I worked with and people that I know they don't really understand like why do you want so many pets? Like what's the purpose of having so many pets? Like, are you crazy? Um so I have my Instagram account, lots of my friends are like, Oh, you should make a pet channel, like you love pets so much, like um you love like making cute little cages for them all this and that so I was like yeah like I heard it enough times I'm like hey why not let's see how it goes also it'd be really great to meet new people that I follow and just really good resource to talking to people that know about the same pets that I do and just sharing knowledge and experience so I decided that I'd be brave and start YouTube and that's been really fun I like it a lot it's really nice to talk to people that have the same interest and enthusiasm in the pet community so um I'm really glad I started YouTube uh, put my phone back stupid me um <laughs> Next question is, what's your newest pet? So yeah, if you saw my, um, well, if, I guess if you follow me on Instagram, um, you know my newest pet is Luna, my cat, my little rescue cat. I'll make a story about her and add a video and pictures in case you don't follow me on Instagram or Twitter. But she is my most recent cat slash pet. Um, she be actually found her a couple doors down. I'm not going to get too into the story and spoil it, but yeah, she's my newest and I love her dearly. Also, if you're in the live stream on, was it Monday? You guys would have seen a little bit, a little sneak peek of her, plus like Instagram shows like everything, so yeah. Next question. Which is your favorite hamster? Why'd you guys ask me these questions? Um, honestly, like, I guess they're very different. My Syrian and my Robo hamster, like, think that it was much easier to bond with my hamster, Daisy, because when I got her, she was just really small, and the girl that I got her from, from Kijiji, um, she was just, like, she was handled a lot, so she's just been really used to being handled, and she's not too skittish, and she loves you, like, I give her a treat, and she just comes to me, and we just, like, let's just snuggle, so, um, love her, and my Robo Pram, she was my first hamster since I had since my childhood, um, I've never had a robo hamster, so that was like my first experience. I just absolutely love her. Obviously, she like, we can still snuggle, like I pick her up, but sometimes she gets a little skittish. Obviously, if the dogs are barking and I'm trying to like come to her and bring her a treat, she might like kind of scurry away into like a hiding spot, but um, she's definitely such a sweet girl and I love them both dearly and they're equal, like they're even. I'm not going to say I love one more than the other because we, di we have like different bonds, so um, What's your favorite holiday? I think all of you guys know if you've seen my past videos, um, I love Halloween. Halloween's like my absolute favorite holiday just because like I love pumpkins, I love the smell of pumpkins, and like on Halloween night when like people put old fashioned candles and it just mm, fall, autumn leaves. I think if you see my other videos, you'd see all my enclosures are decorated with Halloween items and um, gel window stickers and like cute little lights everywhere. So love Halloween. Um, let me see, my phone's dying. Let me see, what else do I have? Who's your favorite pet YouTuber? So, some accounts, I don't want to forget anyone. So I love watching, uh, I'm going to add a list just in case I forget. I'll insert it right, right now. So yeah, I knew I was going to forget someone, so I add a little list so that way you guys can see who I like and who I follow. Um, they've all been really kind, especially... Um, just like helping me like with questions I've had about my pets or just knowledge or just ideas and just really nice people to talk to. Okay, make, we'll make this short because it's getting fairly long. Uh, answer that question, next question. Where do you live? So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I live in Toronto, Canada. If you don't follow me on Instagram and just here, maybe you know I live in Toronto, Canada, maybe you don't. I live in Toronto. Um, it's a really fun city, I love it. Um, it's cool because there's other YouTubers that live in this area. I haven't really gone in touch with them, but it'd be really nice to meet up one day. So yeah, next question.